Hello everybody. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to replace your transmission mounts. And I'll be demonstrating this on my 2002 Acura TL Type S. Just like the engine mounts, as I replaced in a previous video, these two hold your engine and transmission in place and ensure that there's no excessive movement and keep vibrations to a minimum. Some signs of worn out transmission mounts may include excessive noise and clunking from the driver's side of the engine bay upon acceleration, but ultimately if your car has over 200,000 miles on it, there's a good chance that they are worn out, cracked, or even broken for that matter. So let's do a quick visual inspection on them, which is ultimately the easiest way to determine if they need replacing or not. So as you can see, I've already got the front driver side of my car jacked up with a jack stand in place and the wheel removed. So let's locate these transmission mounts. We're gonna come under the wheel well here. And this is our transmission right in the center there. And there's one in the front and one in the back. So here is the first transmission mount. You can see the giant block of rubber in the center is ultimately the connection point. So that's the front one. And then there's one more located on the back. And there's the second one also connected by a piece of rubber. And these are what tend to crack and break over a long period of time. So to see if they're actually broken or not, we need to jack up the transmission a little bit. So we've got our jack here, and we've also got a piece of wood so we can protect the fragile transmission housing. And then we're gonna jack it up about under the transmission drain plug here, somewhere in this area. And we're gonna jack it up there again later in the video to give us enough room for one of those transmission mount bolts. So now we're just gonna jack up the transmission ever so slightly, just about a inch or so. So yeah, you can see this one is pretty much on the verge of being completely broken. There's a big old crack right in there. So you know that one's definitely needing replacing. And then we're just gonna take a look at the back one here too. So on this mount, you can see that there's definitely a big crack on the bottom portion of it. Uh, there might also be one starting to form on the top portion of that rubber, but nonetheless, it is on the verge of breaking and we will be replacing this one as well. So now that we've determined that our transmission mounts need replacing, we're gonna order some parts and we're gonna do a little more visual inspection to determine which parts we need to order. So obviously we're gonna need to order the front and rear mounts, but ultimately we're just gonna inspect the bolts to ensure that they're not overly rusted and whether or not they're reusable. So each mount is held in by four bolts. You can see there's this bolt right here. That one seems to be in generally good shape. And there's one more in the back there. That one's also looking all right. And then there's two on the bottom. So there's this giant bar right here and there are two holes in it. We're gonna look on inside there, inspect the nut. And you can see it's pretty rusted. Um, personally, I think I'll be replacing these, but the other two bolts I'll just reuse. And then there's one more right here. Again, pretty rusted. This is what's ultimately more exposed to the environment than the others. And then it's a similar concept with the rear transmission mount. We got two bolts on top. We got one right here. It's a little rusted, but it's in generally good shape. And then we got one more in the back there, kind of hard to film, but also I think that's reusable. Plus I think these bolts are kind of expensive. And then again, we're gonna come under the car a little bit. We got this giant uh, beam here and there are two holes in it. I'm just gonna look up on in there. And again, you can see these nuts are pretty rusted. There's the first one. And then one more right in there, also pretty rust. Then we're going to come to my favorite website, AcuraPartsForLess.com, and we're going to select our vehicle. I've got a 2002 TL Type S. We'll select body and then engine mount. And then at the bottom right, we have our front transmission mount. Select that. Then we have 
our rear transmission mount. Select one of those. And then as you saw before, the four nuts on the bottom were pretty rusted, so we're gonna select a quantity of four for those. And then if you feel the need to, you can add these two bolts for the front transmission mount. And then these are a little pricier, but here are the two bolts for the rear transmission mount. You can make that call when you inspect the mounts yourself. And then they'll bring our total to about $88 plus maybe $10 for taxes and shipping. So the first part in removing these transmission mounts is going to involve removing those four nuts on the bottom, one, two, three, four. And for this part, we do not want the transmission to be jacked up any. And to remove these nuts, we're going to need a deep socket 14 millimeter. And as you saw before, they were pretty rusted, so we're gonna use a six-sided hex socket like this one and get those removed. Goes. Try the second one. There we go. Let's break number three loose. There we go. And then number four. Let's break that loose. Nice. With these four very rusty nuts removed, we can now work on the other four bolts. So we're gonna jack it up about an inch just so all the pressure is off the transmission. So here we go. Just a little bit. There we go. And then we'll just Quickly check the rear one too. Yep, we got a little space under there. And now we can remove those four bolts. And again, we've got a 14 millimeter socket with a small extension on there. So let's give this a go. There we go. And now we got the other bolt in the back there. Again, 14 millimeter. And this time we've got a little bit longer of an extension. And your Equipment might rub up against this piece of plastic, but that's okay. So let's see if we can break this loose. Now for the rear transmission mounts, uh, these two upper bolts, you can't get a socket and ratchet in there. So we're gonna have to use a 14 millimeter wrench. And I've also got a little bit of a, kind of a piece of breaker bar there. PVC pipe, and let's see if we can break this loose. There we go. That was actually pretty easy too. And now we're gonna go on, well actually, let's double check. Yep, it is loose. So now let's go on to the back one. For this last bolt, there really isn't any room to work at it from on top, so we kinda gotta go under the car a little bit and have a wrench sticking out the bottom. And with the jack in the way, I really can't get my breaker bar in there either. And with the ground being so close as well. So we're gonna try and do this by hand. Wish me luck. Oh, nice. Nice, so we got the four upper bolts removed. And luckily, once you break them loose, they can be taken out by hand pretty easily after that, so it wasn't tedious at all. And now what we have to do is we have to jack up the transmission a little bit more so we can have enough space to remove the mounts the rest of the way. So let's jack up the transmission a little bit more. Just a little bit, you don't wanna jack it up way too much. So close. Wait, there we go. Nice. Let's see if we have enough room for the second one now. All right, 
we got both our transmission mounts out. Sweet. So we got our transmission mounts out and upon further inspection, you can notice on this rear mount that it was actually starting to come apart at the bottom, which I wasn't able to detect before. So I'm glad we caught that early before it completely broke. And then again on this one, we can see that it was really starting to peel at the top. So now we shall get the new ones in. So reverse order process now. We're going to put the mounts back in for the front one. I feel it helps to start it upside down. And then you can kind of roll it in place. There we go. And there we go. It is seated. And then we'll be able to put the two nuts in, hand tighten those first. And when putting those bolts back in, I would recommend with this further back nut back there first, just because it's harder to reach. And then doing the front one. And we're gonna hand tighten those. And next we're gonna torque them down to 28 foot pounds. Now we can put the rear transmission mount in place. Here we go. And then we will start those two upper bolts and tighten them by hand. So obviously we can't get a torque wrench in there, so we're just gonna tighten these down to the best of our ability. Snug them down nice and good. be good enough for that one and same thing for that back one just gonna snug it by hand and that should be good so now we're gonna release the pressure off of our jack and lower the transmission down all the way down there we go and these should be seated nicely and now we can start the four nuts on the bottom. We're gonna hand tighten those. And now we'll torque the four nuts to 28 foot pounds. And lastly, we can put our wheel back on and torque those lug nuts down to 80 foot-pounds. And we are all finished. Pretty easy job overall, especially on my car with 315,000 miles. I'm glad all those rusty nuts and bolts came off generally easy. I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. Feel free to leave a comment or ask a question. I'm pretty good at getting back to people. And also check out the description. I'll be leaving additional information, links, and timestamps down there to better navigate through the video. So again, thanks for watching and take care.